farmers in the area had the opportunity to come to Murray State University to learn from a record-winning corn and soybean producer. The 12th annual Soybean Promotion Day also gave farmers the confidence to tell their story and fight for their livelihood. This year, Soybean Promotion Day creates another tool in the toolbox for over 200 farmers in the region. Farmers come looking to advocate for their profession and ways to increase production and marketing. Telling a positive story about agriculture and uh, giving on a cutting edge of production. Uh, you know, you, there's two ways to influence the bottom line. You can raise production or you can sell it for more or you can cut expenses and we hope to maybe address all of those things through the sessions. Kentucky Soybean Board partners in this event with Murray State University Hudson School of Agriculture to reach out to the region about their production. Over 75% of attendees are Murray State's alumni or have an association with the university. Just uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here at Murray State and to host this event and see so many of our alumni uh, and friends that uh, across this region that come back. I try to make the rounds and meet every one of them and I'd say you know, probably got some association or they got a son or daughter here or they're an alumni or they know somebody that is. We're a regional university, we've reached out, we're trying to reach the region and we're doing it through events like this. One of the keynote speakers at this year's Soybean Promotion Day was Randy Dowdy, a first generation farmer. His focus was on paying it forward by helping others increase their production. Dowdy has a production guide that has been used in several states with proven positive results. The other keynote speakers were Troy and Stacy Hadrick. Troy is a fourth generation farmer from North Central South Dakota. Hadrick and his wife Stacy travel around the country sharing their story about farming in hopes to encourage other farmers to do the same. How do we go on connect with people? Like we talked about before, there's a lot of different ways. You know, you may you can do it in social media, or you can do it um, on a big grand scale, maybe at, you know in Washington D.C. Or do we need to be at our local coffee shops and talking to those folks? And, and the answer is yes, we need to be all those places. And so, some people in, in agriculture, you know, we're fairly humble by nature, um, but we've got to kind of go out and brag about what we do. Farmers at Soybean Promotion Day have that chance to network and share their stories with each other. Some even traveled over two hours away for this seminar. Central City, south of Owensboro area. And I even know some farmers that's coming from a lot further than that. So I'm here to really talk to other farmers and see what issues are with them. And uh, also to learn. I, 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 one of the biggest tricks to, uh, uh, to being an advocate for anything is staying motivated. And I really think Stacy and Troy would be excellent at that. Kentucky Soybean Promotion Board has been a terrific sponsor of Murray State Hudson School of Ag and of this event. Several years ago, we had an idea that we just wanted to reach out to soybean farmers and agribusiness people in the region. And we're a regional university. We're here to serve the region. And uh, they're here to help us do that, to uh, promote a positive aspect about soybeans and their importance to this region, but also the importance of agriculture to our region too.